guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the FHG test account over on the test server. Um, we are looking at the Awakened Thane and we're gonna try to build him. I, I have been saving some cards over here. We did pull a copy of Aziz. We've also gotten lucky with some pulls. So we're gonna do some summons over on this account. We're looking to build out really two heroes on here. Um, number one being Frampton. We've actually built him out with his tier three gear. We want to build up Frampton. We almost have signature item maxed out. And then the other one, guys, is, of course, the Awakened Thane. We're going to be trying to pull a couple copies from him. Now, over on the Light Bearer card, I have about 300 plus cards, um, which I really feel is not going to be enough to get him pulled up to that Ascended level. But we're going to give it a try, guys. So I popped the, the Veiled Wind Thane in here. We have 91 cards. I'm hoping out of these 91, not only are we going to get some copies of him, which boom, we do right off the bat, guys. Very first summon, we pull a copy of him, which is incredible. We also did get a Wilder card in there. We got some resources. Pull number two gives us just some resources. We did get a Mauler card in that one. Number three, just some resources. Four again. Not looking too good, guys, but there's our second copy. That's already two copies of Thane on um, double elite cards in there. Wonder if we can pull a third out of here with the cards that we got. And there it is, guys. Number three, three copies of Thane already. And I think that's about all that we're going to be picking up. Because I know the card's got to be about done, guys. If we could keep these rates, um, that, that would be awesome. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. That is three copies of Thane just like that which I love to see. We got a lot of resources out of there, but that will actually take him up, build him up a little bit. And of course, we know he is under the Light Bears, which is kind of weird because I'm so used to going to Celestial and Hypogens, but that does take him to a Legendary Plus right off the bat. So pretty cool to see. We also do have a Strode here. Hoping as we continue to get more Legendary Heroes that we do get lucky with the summons in here. Um, I, I know the, the percentage for the Awakened Heroes are incredibly low, but there is still a chance, guys. There, there's always still a chance. Using up all of our resources out of here, we have 21 scrolls, which gives us an Elite, a copy of Hodgkin. Solid, solid buffer and crowd control in there. We also do have 27,000 diamonds. So Stargazer, guys, we're looking for Frampton. We have 136 cards. I have been pushing the tower an incredible amount over here on the test server, also saving up some diamonds out of there. So I'm hoping that we can get this Mythic Frampton built up a little bit. I, I would love to see some copies, which there's a copy, guys. Very nice two pulls, and we do get a copy of him, which, like I was saying, I'm hoping that we can get some copies, get him up to that Ascended level, so we can build him out with some of his furniture, also having some of the engraving on him as well which we've only seen one copy, 66 cards left. There we go, guys, another copy right there. So that's two copies of him that we have already pulled. I would love to see a double or a triple um, or see our diamonds. We actually seen our 3,000 diamonds a little bit earlier. We got some elite cards out of here though. So rate's not too great, but we'll get into our diamonds. Continuing with the summons, only seen two copies of them, guys. There we go, there's our third. We get a Mauler card. Hopefully we can pull our fourth. It, it would be very nice to see one more copy of out of here, which there is a Greyborn card. Our final pull here gives us just some more resources, but we got some more elite cards. The, those elite cards, guys, that was actually an incredible amount of elite cards between both of those, giving us five Greyborn heroes. We have Hodgkin, we have Pharrell, we have Treznar, and we have, um, let's pop open our chest. Test server, I don't spend an incredible amount of time on. Um, there we go. We got some food right there. Wilder card, we got Respin. And then we did get, look at that. We got Scarlet and we got Morrow. So pretty good pulls right there. We've actually saved up quite a bit of these chests. These chests are coming out of the current vet event that we have going on right now. And we are completely full on heroes, guys. But we got a lot more food. And another new subscriber, Bar2. So we have another subscriber here, but that will actually allow us to take and start the engraving process on Scarlet on here. Um, very cool looking. For Frampton himself, we pick up one copy right there, taking him to Mythic Plus. Then we have one bonus copy, so we need three. We need three copies of Frampton and we will be able to take him up to Ascended. Then just a little bit more and we can take him up to that Ascended Plus level. One more pull here, guys, out of the cards we just used. 
gives us just some more resources. But again, that's okay. We absolutely have to use all of these materials that we have. We have three cards on the table. Um, we put the Prince of Persia in here. We have Audrey in here. Audrey, we're actually going to drop out because we do want to build out Frampton. I think Frampton, we still have a lot of build. We still need Cran. We have Scarlet in here as well. Um, Zolrath. But let me see where we're at with our furniture. We have a ton, guys. Look at this. Twins, one, two, three, four, five, six for the twins. Twins are built out. Kren, we have a lot of furniture. Merlin, we have some. Our furniture on the test server is just literally all over. We even have pieces in there for Zolrath. We have a piece for Audrey. Um, definitely need to get it together on the test server to the heroes that we're pulling and how we are going to build these heroes out. <sighs> Prince of Persia, you know what? We're going to drop Prince of Persia out. We have Zolrath in here. Again, building out Frampton right now. Um, but I'm thinking with the Awakened Heroes, we could focus on building out Thane. Um, he would be really strong in here. But again, I, I don't know as free to play. Um, how incredibly, how incredibly long it's going to take us to build some of these heroes out, guys. I, I really feel like it, it is going to be a long, long road to build some of these heroes out. Especially with the cards that we have. You know what? We'll go ahead and we'll drop Albedo back in there. Just throw a few quick summons right here. See if we can get some Mythic cards. And again, Test Server's been bugging out a lot. Um, there's a copy for Albedo. I've actually seen a lot of bugs. Um, I've had to reload multiple times. Trying to load a couple things. Even trying to load um, earlier with the new event. Which there's double pieces for Tassie, guys. Um, trying to load the Isle of Gold. Didn't work either. There's a piece for Kren, which Kren I know is almost maxed out as well. I think Tassie is pretty close. We need one for Tassie. Let's recycle some of these. I'm thinking if we can get one more piece for Tassie. Mishka, we need some more. I know Kren, we're pretty close as well. Just need some more copies of Kren. And then Frampton as well. We got two more poles in here. Tassie going to that nine of nine. Our final one is Arthur. Five cards on the table, but that does add another piece in there for Arthur. Take him to that two of nine. And I'm thinking, you know what, with the way that we have these heroes built, I'm almost thinking to, to take Scarlet up quite a bit, but Raku we could max out. Let's go ahead with three on Raku. Just because we know how incredibly powerful he is for three pieces of furniture. Um, I'm going to do one for Tassie in here again. That we can just go ahead and building out the wilders like crazy here but i'm okay with it guys we still have a lot of room um that we need to go so there's tassie nine of nine there's raccoon nine of nine i believe i put everybody just in this top priority up here Baba yaga i think we still have to build out nope we build out all the rooms we have all of our ascended heroes already in here guys so let's go ahead we'll recycle what we got I think that gives us enough for one more pull, which I should have adjusted the wish list. I, I didn't even think about that. All right, so we'll recycle one more time. That gives us one card on the table, but that allows us to actually drop out both of these heroes. And a lot of these heroes, guys, we are we have them built out pretty well. Um, Rowan, three of nine, does work a little bit. Um, not super effective. Cecilia, um, I'd want to build up a little bit more. And then again, Celestials and Hypogens, we also do have Kren right there. So we still have quite a few heroes to build out, guys. Um, Stone-wise, I'm not sure. We do have quite a few stones. We have 17 elite hero stones. Let's see if we can pull anything good out of here, guys. We got Kren. We got Kren. We got Soros. We got Peggy. Um, we got Maro. Got a lot of light bears in there. We also got Hodgkin and Treznar, as well as Iran. So pretty good pull there. Um, actually, not too bad. Still waiting to see if we can get Kren. Finally. Kren, guys, we're gonna we're gonna have to drop some of that furniture on him. We finally pull Kren up to that level. Um, Soros, another one, just adding a couple more stars. We built out a star on this account, and then we have a few more. Still have a couple more heroes that we can really build out here. Thisu, we have the copies of. Um, we're gonna have to go through here and build out quite a few. Even the resonating crystal, guys, we've been locked with the resonating crystal for a significant amount of time. Um, have a lot of essence in here, just have not been able to build 
the heroes. We, we haven't had an opportunity to build out a lot of these heroes. I think we have enough resources to gain five more levels. Which takes the test server to 390. Definitely like seeing that one. So Oak in again, we're gonna add Kren into here as another hero that we have. And again, the furniture we have built. We we have Kren's furniture uh, pretty well built. So let's see where he actually goes to. The so smart selection. Go ahead and put him where we do everyone hero. Um, so that takes him zero to four. So that gives him four of nine right off the bat, guys. Love, love seeing that. So Kren actually joining with quite a bit of furniture right off the bat. That That is a pretty solid build. Um, and Kren is absolutely amazing, guys. He is actually one of the top maulers that I would recommend building. Um, does incredible, incredible when you have him built out. So Elder Tree, we'll go ahead and we'll collect up a couple more levels here. Um, pretty even with the Elder Tree. Again, not a huge, huge focus. I've been kind of going back. Field of Stars. We finally got the Fitch unlocked a little bit more. I believe that gives us a dimensional key. We can absolutely use that. Um, one of the updates that are coming that we've seen before, um, going in here, you can actually select formations. Guys, they need to fix this. They, they honestly, so the available formation, so this is based on heroes that I use. Now, if I use this, um, including the artifacts, I cannot even use it because of the fusion of the heroes that I have. It, it doesn't have anything kind of in the background check to look for the heroes that I have fused with other heroes and what heroes within formations are, are not gonna work. Also guys, it does pop in a bunch of level one heroes. So when this drops on Tuesday, you have to be very cognizant of this. Um, even here we have Nomura who is elite, or I think elite plus. Um, it, it drops anyone who is in here so again, it, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how they build this out. Now, a lot of these we can go through and you can look at the power. You can see the builds that they have within different formations. But again, a lot of these heroes, so I can use this one. Um, but you can see, guys, there are gaps in some of the teams because there are heroes that I specifically do not have that they were building within the formation. And it also does the same. It will take the level one heroes such as Pippa and Aziz right here, and it will put them in the formations. Which again, if you have all of the heroes built, um, super effective, it, it will work incredibly well. If you're like me over on the test server, um, a lot of the heroes I do not have built, dropping them in the formations are not going to work at all. But it, it's again, gonna be very dependent on the heroes that you have built. So all right guys, so that'll do it for um, today's video. Wanted to get kept caught up on the test server. We wanna make some more progression in here. This is completely free to play and this is where we do get the sneak peek to what is coming up with AFK Arena. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, thank you guys for watching.